Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your sixth Angular 2 tutorial and in this video we're going to go over how templates and CSS work. Alright then, so I've still got the server running by typing ng-serve in this command line right here, so it's still running over here in the browser. And as we saw in the last lesson, when we created our first project using the Angular CLI, it went ahead and created our first root component for us called app. We've got app component CSS, app component HTML, which is the view, and app component.ts, uh, which is the TypeScript file, which controls the logic of this component. So I said in the last tutorial, it's referencing this link right here, this app.component.html for the template URL, which is this file right here. So it knows to output this when it finds this tag, okay? And it finds this tag in the index file right here. So that's how it knows how to output this file. But instead of referencing an external link, an external template, if we've only got a small template, which we have right here, then we could go ahead and get rid of this URL section of the property and just say template instead. And then instead of passing through a URL, we just pass through a string of HTML. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna say h1, and I'm gonna output the name, which is ninja down here, and close that h1 tag. And if I save this now, then hopefully it's gonna reload in this browser and it's gonna this time output this template instead of this thing right here, okay? Cool, so now we see Ninja in the browser. So I typically like to use template URL unless it's just a small little string of data like this. This is fine, however, if we're using a large document of HTML, then I typically like to use template URL as the property and then supply the path to that view. So it's app.components.html. Okay, cool. So let's save that and let's head over to this view just to see what it's outputting. I'm gonna get rid of this name right now. And instead what I'm gonna do is just write a few different tags, some basic tags, and I'll give it a header. And then first of all, we're gonna pop that H1 back in and we'll output the title again. And then underneath the title, what we'll do is a simple nav bar like that. And we're gonna fill this up later on in the tutorial series. I'm just creating some content now, some dummy content, just so we've got something on the web page. So let's copy that and do one more link. And then we'll do a section underneath the header. Give this an ID equal to main and then we'll dump our main content there later on when we create new components, okay? So this is just the root component at the minute that I'm editing, and this is gonna appear on every page, so it's okay being in the root component. If we wanted to, we could split this nav out into another component, but really there's no need to at the minute. So I'm just gonna save that for now, and then this should update on the right. Cool, so now we have that header, and we have this UL right here with the two links. So how do we work with CSS? Well, I mentioned before that we have a CSS file for each different component. And if I write styles in here, it's only going to target things in this component. So why not target this H1 just for a laugh? Let's make this a color of red. So if I save that now and refresh this, then you're gonna see that text change to red. However, I don't really like using these CSS files. I prefer to have my own CSS file in the public folder, which we can reference and put all of our styles in there. So I'm gonna get rid of this for now and I'm gonna save it. And instead what I'm gonna do is come to my public folder right here. I'm gonna right click and create a new file and I'm gonna call this styles.css. And then anything that we write in here we is gonna be output in this distribution folder right here, okay? So we just need to make a reference to this in the index file, which I'm gonna do right here. So just before the head closes, I'll say link href equals, and then all we need to do is forward slash to say at the root, then styles.css. And when we do that, it's gonna look in this public folder and find whatever we have in here, okay? 
So that's pretty cool. Let's say rel equals style sheet and type equals text forward slash CSS. And there we go, we've linked up to our style sheet right now. So now anything we put in here is gonna target the whole application now, not just one component. And I prefer to work that way, keep all my styles together. So if I again say H1, and this time color purple, save it, and then hopefully it's gonna refresh automatically over here. And now we can see that's also worked and targeted this H1. Cool, so that is how we work with templates and CSS in Angular 2. Any questions, leave those down below. Otherwise, I'm gonna see you in the very next tutorial.